Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the fourth and last part of my Bundesliga jersey review. Again I want to refer to you to parts, especially part one where I explain to you how the jerseys were chosen. Basically I went to the table from last season, split it in four, so the first four, the Champions League teams are the teams that are seeded. And then out of each chunk of four, going down, I pick one team. Now, since we have for last part, we have only four teams because the Bundesliga has only 18 teams. And we'll get to the CD team much later, which will be Leverkusen, because I then order them alphabetically. And that means we'll start with Freiburg here. And Freiburg is with Hummel and is back to their traditional black and uh, red striped look. Very much Milan stripes. This is more or less how a Milan jersey would look if it, they were supplied by Hummel. Uh, take the sponsor away and, and replace it with something white. I also don't like that the sponsor should not break up the uh, stripes, honestly. This is a scorch that needs to be taken away from soccer jerseys. I do like the red collar. I do like the red shoulders. I do like Freiburg. Actually, this is one of those teams that I find very sympathetic. Uh, the full color sponsor is though a little bit much to take in, to, to be honest. So uh, for that, that drops a little bit down, but I still think it's a seven star. Um, the away jersey drops the color and actually gives it a more modern look. And then it's black and white, which I also like. Note the red Hummel, still full color sponsor and still stripes broken up. I like the two-tone chevrons on the shoulders. So I like the Denmark jersey that we saw at the World Cup. Uh, still a very nice jersey for seven stars. Uh, fortunately, the third jersey is nothing like that. Suddenly we have purple and neon yellow. And then you have none of these colors on the weird sponsor. Don't like it. Don't like it. This there, there's at least a bird from the crest on there. So that saves it a little bit. <laughs> like three stars. If that wasn't on there, it's on the proper right. Then that would only be a two-star jersey. Uh, I really have a problem with the colors and then the sponsor on there. That's just a little bit too much. Moving on, Gladbach, a team that I thought will play in the Champions League next year and didn't quite manage. Uh, let's address the elephant in the room first. The sponsor is an eyesore. Yes, this is the Postal Bank, that's why we need the yellow on there. But on a Gladbach jersey, it doesn't make much sense, especially if then the other colors are navy and red. It does not make much sense to me, to be honest. Uh, Yes, you gotta take a sp sponsors, but cannot the sponsor be in the same, you know, do something to fit in? This doesn't look good. However, I really like the jersey design in white, and then you have the green and the black uh, pyro smoke coming up. Yes, we are promoting pyro on this shirt, which honestly I think is pretty cool. Uh, this is an out of the box thinking jersey, and that's all I like about it. The sponsor. Ah, it's horrible, but overall I, I like the jersey, so uh, similar to Freiburg, I would say this is a 7 star. If the sponsor would fit, we are talking 8 to 9 here. The sponsor just really ruins the shirt. This would be a much better shirt if the sponsor would not be yellow and introduce complete three colors that have nothing to do with Gladbach. And same goes for the away jersey, but this one I like a lot less. I mean, the light blue and the navy blue raglan sleeves, it looks like a goalkeeper jersey. That's what I think is my biggest gripe with that one. Slap on a sponsor that is just uh, overbearing and we end up with a four-star away jersey. Sorry, that's really not, not much more that I can say. The third jersey, though, uh, I like a whole lot better. First of all, the colors are already very pleasing to me. The pattern... Uh, I think is inspired by the old Bökelberg stadium and you see the stadium it's kind of it's better than what Chelsea did because you actually can see that there's a photograph printed on and then going all over 
it's not all that great either but i think it at least you can make it out and uh, for that reason i do like it um so i would say this is also pretty much a seven star jersey the sponsor puts it down i wouldn't go as high as nine but i really like like the colors and that they try to do something out of the box here we're still playing a, a reverence to their old stadium famous stay stadium that they just is now it's converted now in a apartment uh, complex that's how it goes similar arsenal i would say but yeah gladbach it's a very mixed bag with those sponsors leverkusen the team that made it actually to the champions league and i said it last year Lever leverkusen has for years now this um uh, trend of one season in red, one season in black, and then the last season's home jersey is recycled as an away or third jersey. That's exactly what's happening this year as well, as, as, as we will see. Uh, the home jersey takes actually the inspiration from last year's away jersey with the diagonal striping, um, but now it's only shadow stripes red and darker red uh, with some black sleeve cuffs the color really looks a whole lot like nike so yako is also a little bit copying there but it is a classic sports jersey i would say and i cannot give much fault to it either i cannot go high as well so seven stars i, I seem to be stuck on seven in the bundesliga honestly um this is the home jersey from last season which is now the away jersey as i said this is a black and red version of the psg jersey of a psg jersey that i would like to see yes the red could be wider the white could be wider but i didn't mind this jersey and i like it actually better as an away jersey now that i look at it as an away jersey i think last year i gave it seven stars as a home jersey but as an away jersey i actually want to give this eight stars it looks quite nice so as an away jersey for a label for label because this works much better they also have another away jersey which is a whole lot more boring i mean it looks like an aspirin pill right there it is gray with gray shadows so it takes a home jersey and makes it gray and then everything else is black boring unimaginative it's not a bad jersey although the crest is really bad i, I would say Especially the buyer pill. Make it white. It was white. There's no need to make it black. It's death pill, I guess. Four stars. It's not offensive, but it's just boring. Um, and then we have the last team, which is Mainz. Wow, we're going rather fast through it. Mainz stays with Lotto uh, as last year. And note the really nice Lotto color. This is so 90s. I actually like it not like the sponsor though and the jersey in itself yeah with the color is nice but it's a little bit too red there's nothing that really uh, makes it a little bit light i think it could have used some white here or a little bit more on the collar or on the sleeve cuff something like that for that rather average jersey with a horrible sponsor five star much better the away jersey uh where you have the red sleeve cuffs on the white the crest is a little bit more popping the sponsor is still bugging me uh but i actually like the the color although the, the red is on the, here on the back that is a little a little bit weird but this is a whole lot better um i would give this six stars and you know if the sponsor was complying and there was no we, we can even talk seven eight it's mostly down to the sponsor that i don't like it's a logo and two lines and the logo doesn't fit with the team colors that's the common theme here in this video. Uh, we already had it for um, uh, Gladbach and for Freiburg. So now same can be said for Mainz. The third jersey is in uh, khaki green with a really weird color, color wise. Actually the crest is good to go on there, the sponsor still. That's a weird jersey, absolutely weird four stars i really cannot see much past the color the color is awful almost on honestly the color choice as well well we ran through all the bundesliga jerseys please 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 drop a comment down below and tell me how you like these jerseys whether you agree with my assessment whether you would see would have rated them somewhat differently also give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel i'm gonna 
do Serie A jersey review next. There's already a La Liga and the Premier League jersey review fully up there for you to enjoy and also from national teams uh, from the summer. I probably will do a little bit soon on the European qualifiers as well, though that might be an October uh, topic. Again, I would be really appreciative if you subscribe to my channel to get all the notifications whenever I post a new video. And yeah, I will talk to you soon with the next jersey review or the next uh, weekend review, Champions League, whatever. It's never gonna get boring on my soccer universe. That I can say for sure. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.